So hello everyone, welcome to another redstone tutorial. In this episode we're going to be showing you how to make a fully automatic sugarcane farm using the 5 minute clock that we had done in a tutorial a few days ago. So this was like my first design over here, but there was a lot more wiring than, need, than needed to be. And you can't really make it bigger without, if you were to extend it, it'd be much bigger, like each one of these would be free wide. So I made this system here which uh, has a few features first of all you can press this button like that each piston will extend and break the sugar cane I'll just do this real quickly like that and it breaks it it's not fully efficient like as you saw there some bits did fall on here but most of it comes in here and if it's fully automatic you can just go away while collecting it and this is the 5 minute clock I'm using just a simple one, it's not like the 5, 10, 15, 20 minute one so when that block goes off this torch lights up and it throws another block onto it so if you have a look in there now right, add some more sugar cane and then if I take this block away it extends, it may all extend and that comes out so I'm going to show you how to make it now so to start with, find somewhere to go go over behind it so you want an eight, 8 long channel, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and you want to go put sand on both sides, let's get some sand, One, two, three. just like that, and then, no I've got no water, <laughs> a bucket of water, ah oh, can you do that? I was hoping you could pick up water, but you can't. So, if I find it, yep, just put your bucket of water in, and then oh, got all the wrong items out at the moment. <laughs> Shouldn't need another bucket of water. Then you can put uh, two blocks of wood on each side, or just one if you want it to just be the same size as that one over there. But if you want to put it to be able to extend it, you can, I'm going to build two, two on each side, whoops, like that, and then pistons facing towards the middle, whoops, like that, and then if you want to extend it, you'd put pistons on the other side facing outwards again, like that, and then you want to put blocks on top, any blocks you want, I'm using wood again. Do that all of them. Like that. And then redstone on every block. And I'm gonna bring them down, so I'm just gonna do this. Like that. Connect them up. Now if I press this torch, they should all extend on both sides, like that. Like, I'm not going to build the other ones this, in this tutorial, it's just simply extending this as long as if you look there, you just copy it over as many times as you want. So to make the 5 minute clock, I'm going to go 3 high, 2 high, dispenser there, block in front of the dispenser, block on the side of the dispenser like that, and then a wooden pressure plate in the middle, which is in the redstone. Like that. Torch coming out of here, this is going to connect to this repeater. There they go, they're all on now. And then a wire coming out of this torch going along and up into there. Now, if I fill this with blocks, at the moment there is one on there, but if I break this and connect it again, it will throw a block out and switch them off. So in five minutes that block will despawn, or I could pick it up. So they'll all switch on for a split second and then another one will get thrown out. So you put your wheat down, like that. And you probably want to build a back wall as well so that uh, no wheat gets blown over. So you build your wheat, like that. Five minutes will go. 
that will despawn, they get pushed off and then they'll go into this channel here. So if you have channels along here as well, which will go in the middle, like that, and like that, you will want to, oh, I've got no water me again, but to make them all come into one place, you're going to want to go two down here. Right, so let's get some water up. Yeah, you want to go two down here so it all flows back into the middle. And then you could just collect it there, but I made a little collecting platform to it. And if you build it even further along, you may have to like go two along, then three down, two down, then three down. But you can eventually bring it back into the middle. And then what I made is I made this button here. So say you come along and it's all fully grown, you don't know how long it's going to be until they automatically switch on again. So you can just press it. Wait, what's there? So, to make that, I just simply line of uh, wood going along, or any block, I put redstone wire across the top, and then brought it down and just simply connected it to that wire. So if I bring this down there, oh, there you go, this went automatically. Although, that wasn't five minutes, I must have just picked it up there by accident. And if I put a button on here now, press that. Oops. Uh, I probably need a redstone torch. Uh, redstone repeater. Oops, what have I done there? <laughs> um, that will be working. It's just, it'll probably be that block that's messing it up. So I'll bring it out of the way. Just test this. Yeah. So I'm going to put my repeater there and then bring that down. Switch that off, switch it back on to make it work again. Yeah, because as you can see, because I stood there, the block went up and I picked it up straight away. That's why it stayed out. So I'll take that block away now. It'll open up and close again. And if I switch, press that button, it opens and closes again. Yeah. But I probably need that redstone repeater. Sorry about this. I need that redstone repeater a little bit closer. So I'm going to put it here. Now if I press it, this should all work. Yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. You just need to make sure that, that um, if there are any repeaters, they are close enough. Like if you look at this system, I spent much more time on this one. I put a redstone repeater before each of the one, before each uh, row of pistons. And then this went into the uh, wire, which is before then repeaters. So just make sure that when you do press it, all repeaters light up. So there you go. That's how to make a fully automatic wheat farm using a five-minute clock and sugarcane farm using a five-minute clock in pistons. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you enjoy these tutorials and uh, building them. And if you want me to make a redstone tutorial on anything else, just leave a comment below and I'll try, be, I'll try to make it as soon as possible. So thanks for watching everyone, please like and subscribe.